All right, everybody, here's a quick little walkthrough of my uh, network build and um, or my home network upgrade and my ZFS build. Hardware specs on the build, uh, it's a super micro board, uh, X9S CL plus minus F, if I'm not mistaken, uh, with the Xeon uh, E3 1230, 16 gigs of uh, Kingston uh, DDR ECC RAM. And then uh, inside, it's IBM M1015 flashed with LSI's IT firmware for uh, Western uh, digital 2 terabyte drives, green drives actually, but that's all I had at the moment. I'll be upgrading after uh, post-flood prices start to come down. Anyways, my um, battery backup, I don't want to move it, but it idles at about 64 uh, watts, which is not too bad considering the amount of uh, horsepower in here. Anyways, it's a HP. This is a HP 1810 24 port switch. Uh, currently, it's left unmanaged. Eventually, once I get my new router, firewall box, and whatnot, I'll go ahead and manage it a little bit better. But great switch for being a dumb switch at the moment. Some Mono Price patch panel, 24 port. Uh, there at the top, you see my uh, wiring coming in from the closet. Unfortunately, it's bad lighting here. Sorry, but uh, the white single cat e or excuse me cat 5e cable that's uh there by itself is going to come from the garage where the ont is located in here and i'll have a fios my fios router in here eventually so this is just your typical linen closet As you can see i had a dir 655 uh router the d-link router there that uh powers the wi-fi throughout the house it's a pretty good central location um Eventually, I'm probably going to upgrade to the Asus RT N66U. Now, let's take a look at some of the wiring. Forgive some of the house. It's a mess. Kid's room here. We're uh, going through some of his old clothes and getting rid of what he doesn't fit in anymore. So, anyways, four drops in each room uh, were ran. I got one here behind the TV for uh, internet connected TVs when we eventually upgrade. Um, here's a single port HDMI power outlet standard 42 inch LG TV here are the two ports down below yes it is off um, when I was cutting from above it looked like it was even so forgive me let's move this out of the way there you go take a look at my old quote unquote uh, cabinet closet here this was uh, before my son was bit or born we had this ran wiring from the game room which carries the speaker wires to an Onkyo receiver to uh, the Verizon high def box and then my old <coughs> excuse me um, meet quote unquote media server where I had all my uh, music which was fed to the receiver and then uh, powered to the two speakers that are uh, outside and I'll show you those here in a minute makeshift cabinet there you go so here's my game room or uh, what, what you would call a game room it's kind of entertaining room a little pool table here that doesn't see much use anymore now that my son's been born here is the touchscreen jukebox that that server in that closet that you just saw is fed to um, eventually, or not eventually, when it was working, I, I haven't turned it on in probably about a year now. Um, I had some touchscreen software, you'd be able to touch, change music, and it was powered to these two speakers here. These are, I don't know, I don't know what model they are. Anyways, there's that. Here's my 42-inch uh, plasma that's mounted here on the wall. Again, all wiring done by me. Let's see if we can get this. And there you have it. Let's take a look on the outside here. My audio front, rainy day in Southern California. <laughs> 